Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about infections that occur mainly in hospitals. Starting with Clostridium difficile, this infection is common after the use of penicillin or clindamycin. It presents with gastritis symptoms, so look for watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, and leukocytosis. It can be treated with vancomycin. Next we have Legionella. This infection is acquired from infected water sources. So if one person is infected in the hospital, very soon there will be many others. The striking feature is pneumonia with either GI symptoms or neurological symptoms. However, it can easily be treated with microlides like azithromycin or fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin. Next we have IV related infections. The most common organism is sadly MRSA, then Staphylococcus epidermidis and Enterobacter. Look for redness and erythema with induration around the IV site. Sometimes pus can be present as well. If untreated, this very quickly leads to sepsis and death. The treatment differs based on cultural results. Next, we have mechanical ventilation related infections. Pseudomonas becomes the first in our list, followed by Klebsiella, especially in alcoholics and diabetic patients, then Acinetobacter and Staph. Look for new infiltrations in the chest with increased mucus production. And as the case with Pseudomonas, sweet odor from the mouth. Next, we have urinary catheter infections. Proteus and E. coli are very common. And of course, Klebsiella. Presentation-wise, think of UTI. So look for dysuria, flank pain, maybe fever. And finally, dialysis and needle stick infections. In this case, viruses are the most common with hepatitis B virus is the most common, followed by HIV. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following medications is used to treat Klebsiella infection? The answer is penicillin-based antibiotics like Ticarcelin with Clovinate. Alright guys, that's all I have and thank you so much for watching.